Hey, no. Hey, I'm feeling much better now. Ready to help out any way I can. Uh, it's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine, I guess. Not really inspiring anybody, but that's not really our job, is it? Our job is to save the folks back home. And, well, I'm pretty sure we'll get there. We could try harder, though. You bet. Ready when you are. Ugh. our oil buried under their land. You know, if Daisy would just let us off our chain for once, it would be our land. Those pretend cowboys wouldn't stand a chance against the real thing. Welcome back, Rangers. What can I do for you? Happy to. Take a look.
be my These molides do not compute. One, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven, and eleven. Home again, home again, juggity juggity jug. They must never know. No one must ever tell them. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. Top of the world, ma! Can you see me? Do I exist? God, the greatest mind of a generation, thrown down the Gazaman Platts. They must never know. No one must ever tell them. I can see my own self. Sunday, 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 nitro burning funny cars. One, three, five, seven, eleven, eleven, and eleven. The world is ours, Josephine! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Nitro burning funny cars! So, where would you shoot a bear if it... Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. Traitors! Traitors, all of you! The world is ours, Josephine! Top of the world, ma! I am a human just like you. I swim as cuff schmiddle to. Can you see me? Do I exist? The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. The square of the hippopotamus is three times the length of its eye. Thank you so much. Eureka! The... World is all <laughs> uh.
What'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? Weird or how? Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Oh, his security deposit's not gonna cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. And the gangs of the Eastern Plains Hoping to rob us of our worldly gains Oh, saw, saw him coming and he rolled up his sleeves He said, you're all nothing but a pack of thieves Strong as an ox at three score and ten He faced down the savages again and again Then drove them back to the desolate east And secured for Colorado an endless peace Is Buchanan a man? Oh boy, what a man the hundred families came to see you springs and all fell to fighting over frivolous things still saw raise their heads to the circling wings of Went to war and fought all the monsters of Satan's 
Dinosaur. He lined them all up and he cut them all down to flap. The inhaler surrendered his crown. He can spare flab and made him a deal. If your boys work for me, they'll never miss a meal. Flab signed up on the dotted line. Security uh, drone. Hi. His timing belt Do broke, you have so it uh, books on cloning. What? Who, who are you? What do you want? I. I. I'm Irv. What do you want? I... Uh... Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to... to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself, and I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. Oh no! Did you kill them? Oh... Poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I... I screwed up the formula somehow. Well... Well, I, I guess I'm kinda... Afraid to make friends the normal way, so... I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. When they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really... Really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... He may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die, he was a real humanitarian. The original? No, n not anymore, but I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? Or, I mean, I'm him but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah? I, I wasn't... I wasn't suggesting... no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate? How some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way, and... 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 Uh, and neither am I, I swear. You believe me, don't you?
Oh, thank God. So, you're not gonna arrest me? You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! I, I'm so grateful! I'll do good work for you, I promise. Thank you so much! Uh, hi. This is Bellamy Ward, PAL operational test number, uh, 110. I've adjusted the angle of the solar collector by 3.12 degrees to improve the energy transmission from the photonic amplification lenses. I've also attached a more sensitive voltmeter to the test panel, so I can hopefully get a more accurate reading of the conversion rate. Everything's set. Here we go. The photon amplification lenses are operating at 60% ambient light, approximately what we would expect on a typical day in Colorado Springs. Checking the voltmeter now. Yes, it's working. Energy storage is 12% above norm. This is better than I hoped. Now, if I can get the storage rate up to 25%, we'll have surplus power running into the batteries each day. For the first time since the deluge of fire, Colorado Springs will have all the electricity it needs. I can't wait to show this to Theo and Megan. They'll be so excited. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? About time. Gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal, anyway? Ah, oh, that's kinda sad. What did you do with him? Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Ah, oh, my sciatica. Maybe he didn't like the diagnosis. Only person who knew the combination to that safe was my mom. If you think you can guess it, I don't mind.
destined for great things, Mr. Seafwesson. I regret that I shall not live to... that synth in Colorado Springs yet? Oh, no muss, no fuss. How about that? All right, then. Here's the cash, as promised. Now, uh, one more thing. I was kind of afraid you'd be as pussy as the AZ Rangers, but it looks like you're serious. So I've got another proposal for you. We need a base of operations for our synth hunt, and it looks like you've got plenty of space. What do you say? Can we set up shop here? Ranger squad I ran with an AZ was a chicken outfit. Failed to utilize me properly. Paid the price for it. But you did okay here, so I'm giving you a chance. Great. We'll find a corner and keep out of the way. And just to make the deal sweeter, how'd you like to pick up a few more bounties? Like I told you, synths communicate with each other long distance. That means when I hack October 11's head, 
I'll be able to find its friends. Unfortunately, we're still on the trail of a pack of eastbound synths right now, so we can't stop and hunt for these. But it's got to be done, so I'll pay you to do it. Cash for each head. You want the job? Great. Now, let me just crack this egg. You see that light in the center? That's our current location. Actually, October 11's head. Those other lights around the middle one? Those are the other synths. Hmm, a lot of interference. Maybe near a radio tower, maybe two. Lots of other smaller EM signals too. Probably got a whole bunch of robots around to protect it. There's some wobble in the location signal, which means it's bouncing off the mountains from the foothills. That flickering means there's interference, so it's probably underground. Maybe it's coming from some kind of bunker or mine. Or maybe a nuclear silo inside a dormant volcano. <laughs> like some kind of supervillain. Signal's imprecise, bouncing around. Maybe in the mountains. Great. The sooner you end them, the sooner you get paid. Hi, Rangers. Thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. I, I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist, but all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. It's incredible. He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. A horse that will drink when you lead it to water. <laughs> what? Is that a good idea? Uh, yes, theoretically. I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process, uh, but, um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. You're seriously gonna go through with this? Wow. Okay, well, how exciting! Uh, but before we start, one tiny caveat. The process requires special genetic material, and I've only got enough for one clone, so... If anything happens to our new friend, try to recover its remains so we can reuse them. Now, put your palm on the machine right here. <laughs> this one can talk. Life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. I'm sorry to hear you killed that synth. They're not all bad, you know. Thank you, Rangers. You saved my you life. You will never win if you never begin. You... you want me to make another clone? Okay.
¿Estás ready, chingado? Dead to boots. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, ah!